kamay Mababayani sa harap ng pagsuko Huwag kang susuko Bigyan ang boses ang sigaw ng masa Ang bagong pag-asa ay Mula siyo, mula siyo, mula siyo Panibagong pag-asa ay mula siyo Magandang araw sa lahat. Today, we're going to talk about understanding self and others for your National Service and Training Program module. Of course, magisimula tayo sa ano yung, ano ba tong self na to? Diba? Pag iniisip natin ang self, para ang laki niyang konsepto. But the self is actually simple. It is someone that is formed in relation to other people. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanya iniisip sa kung sino ba tayo bilang mga tao. At itong mga iniisip natin sino tayo ay nanggagaling dun sa pagkikitungo ng ibang tao at itong mga tao sa paligid natin. Okay? So, for example, uso ngayon yung online dating. Tapos, every time that you swipe right and you only swipe right once in 10 profiles, parang ano, ay nakak may nakakamatch ka, isipin mo, ay, ang ganda ko. Kasi, every time that you swipe right, may nakakamatch ka, eh, ibig sabihin nun, ala, ang dami mga tao nagsiswipe right at nagkakagusto at gusto kong ma-meet ka. So, inisip mo, ang ganda ko. At yung ang ganda ko, nagagalan siya sa fact na tingin mo, gusto ka i-meet ng ibang mga tao. Okay? So, ganun doon lang kasimple tong self. Minsan, iniisip ng mga tao na in order for you to understand yourself, you have to answer one question. Itong tanong na to ay yung, who am I? Diba? Parang ang laking bagay. Parang napaka-recreational. Pang-retreat. Pang-religious song. Hindi naman pa nga siya ng kanta. Diba? Yung who am I? Um, etong who am I na to ay pwede siyang sagutin in many different ways. Pwede mo siyang sagutin ng isang buong paragraph or, or in five minutes dun sa retreat nyo, dun sa religious activity nyo. Pero sinasagot din natin siya in very trivial ways in our everyday life. Eh, kanina, nung gumising ka, inisip mo ba, hmm, ano ipapost ko sa Facebook? Ano ipapost ko sa Twitter? Ano ipapost ko sa Instagram? Sino yung ipafollow ko? Magko-comment ba ako dito? ba Or, ano isusuot ko sa online class? Magko-participate ba ako? Mag-video on ba ako? So, ito yung mga, itong mga decisions na to. Eh, constitute the self that we have. Right? So, sometimes, we uh, we look into the mirror, tapos magkapalit tayo ng, ng damit kasi tingin natin, ay, para hindi ako tong damit na to. Or Pasko na, ba? May magbibigay sa'yo ng regalo. Tapos, yung regalo na mara-receive mo, parang, ay, parang, hmm, hindi bagay sa akin to. Hindi ko gusto to. So, ito mga gantong opinions, ay, they constitute the larger concept of the self. And if we construct the self and we answer the question of who am I very unconsciously, there are also some uh, manners in which we construct the self very purposefully. Like for example, your own social media branding. Okay? So a lot of influencers um, curate their social media posts. They don't post something outside their own brand. So ito yung mga bagay na to, napaka-conscious, napaka-intentional ng pag-curate nila ng self nila. Baka iniisip nyo ngayon, napaka, ano naman yung mga explanation ni Ma'am, puro online-online. Hindi naman ako naniniwala sa online self. We're going to talk more about that in the succeeding slides. Okay, why is it important to know the self? In sociology, we have what we call sociological imagination. Sociological imagination says that only in understanding the self can we understand our own society. And of course, vice versa. Okay? So, alam mo na itong mga nangyayari sa buhay mo ay nagagaling sa napakaraming istruktura at institusyon sa lipunan. So, for example, nahihirapan ka sa online class. Nahihirapan ka mag-participate. Kapag face-to-face -face classes, pwede kang magtaas ng kamay. Pero sa online class, parang hindi napapansin masyado ng prof mo yung, yung raise hand function. Kasi baka hindi siya sanay din sa Zoom or sa ibang mga platform. Hindi siya sanay sa online teaching. Mga ganyan. Alam mo na nagkakaroon ka ng problema ngayon sa, sa online learning. Hindi lang dahil sa'yo. Dahil hindi, hindi mo dahil, hindi dahil 
kasalanan mo at dahil ignorante ka sa sa teknolohiya. Alam mo na we are forced in to adapt to this kind of of setup because a lot of the people in power, for example, are not doing their job to curb the pandemic. A lot of the people in power, a lot of the people who hold privileges have don't have their priorities straight. Kaya lahat tayo andito sa posisyong nahihirapan tayo. Something like that. Okay? Only in understanding society that yourself can can you understand your own society. So we use your personal problem to relate them to public issues. Parang ganun siya. And also understanding the self helps us identify our role and in turn our possible contribution to the lives of other people. If you know that this is where you stand, if you understand that these are the privileges that you hold and these are the solutions that your privileges will allow you to do, then ang laki ng ambag mo sa lipunan. Pag tinanong ka, ano bang ambag mo? Eh, may mas isagot ka na. Kasi understood na understood mo na yung sarili mo. At yung lipunan mo. At kung saan ka papasok dun sa lipunan na yun. So, and we have different conceptions of the self. At the mga ipapas, I'm going to present to you 10 different conceptions of the self. These are only 10 of the many ways people think about or theorists think about the self that people have. And all of these perspectives, of course, they sometimes they mix and match, sometimes they combine, um, hindi sila mutually exclusive. So let's dig deeper. Okay, there are some people, some theorists, who say that the self is an essential part of being, and the self automatically comes with the individual. Okay? So, sarabi natin yung kanina, self is formed in relation to other people. May mga ibang mas fundamental yung tingin nila sa self. Just because you have a body, just because you are an individual, automatically meron ka ng self. It doesn't um, require that long process of interaction with other people. It doesn't require talaga na you're able to very well communicate with other people for you to have a self. An example is the fact that we think babies have personalities. Right? Um, sa Ilocos, meron kami sinasabing paidam eh. <laughs> Yung babies sinasabihan namin na, ay, paidam ka kung ayaw niyang magpakarga sa ibang tao. Kung gusto niya, sa nanay lang siya nagpapakarga. And this paidam is a personality. It is a self. Okay? Ganun ka fundamental yung tingin ng ibang tao sa self. It is natural. The next perspective says that there is a true and unified self. The only challenge is finding out who this self is and then being true to who this self is. Itong self na to, naghihintay lang siyang hanapin mo. At itong self na to, hindi siya nagbabago. At kung nahanap mo na, kung sino ka talaga, ay matatapos na yung journey na. At ito yung ultimate achievement ng, ng, ng buhay mo. Ito yung parang mountain na kailangan mong i-cross, ba? Na parang sino ba talaga ako? Kailangan ko magpato- magpakatotoo sa sarili ko. And you see this in many different expressions in Philippine culture. Okay? Isa siyang tunay na tao, o um, ito pala ang tunay na budhi niya. And we have this assumption that in order to find yourself, you have to endeavor to, to you have to struggle, and you have to, you know, win over a certain journey in your life. Ang hirap ng gantong parte ng buhay mo, at sinasabi ng ibang tao na pagkatapos mong malampasan itong chapter na to ng buhay mo, malalaman mo kung sino ka talaga. At hindi lang kung sino ka talaga, malalaman mo kung sino ba talaga yung mga taong nasa paligid mo. Okay, and we'll talk about um, different perspectives later na nag-engage naman sa perspective na itong true and unified self. Now, the next perspective says that the role that people occupy make them who they are. Nung nasa face-to-face mode of learning pa, rin, pa lang tayo, uso yung mga introduce yourself, introduce yourself, ba? And people, most of the time, introduce themselves using the roles that they hold. Hello po, I'm an engineering student. Hello po, I'm a sociology student. And not just in the classroom. Kapag meron hang mga ibang grupong sinasalihan, kapag sumali ka ng fan group ng BTS, or kapag army ka at meron kang nakasalumuhang fan din ng army, Sabihin mo, hi, uh, I'm a sociologist, I work in UPT Laman, and these are roles. I'm a BTS fan, 
Now, these are rules, and we organize ourselves based on these rules. Madami mong mga something, sociology, association of the Philippines, yung mga ganyan. So, itong, ano, bakit napaka-interesting nitong, nitong perspective na to? The fact is, this perspective recognizes that there are strong influences on the self. Okay? Kasi yung role mo ay in relation always siya sa ibang tao, hindi mo pwedeng sabihin ay ma-daughter kung wala ka namang nanay or wala ka namang tatay. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin ay ma-spouse if wala ka namang partner in life. Hindi mo naman pwedeng sabihin ay ma-BTS fan ko in the first place wala namang nag-exist na BTS group. Right? So, itong role mo ay dependent siya doon sa ibang tao and dependent din siya sa role at sa ginagawa at sa estado ng buhay, sa um, stature ng ibang mga tao. At dahil dependent itong role na to, napaka-strong ng external influences. One example is yung expression na, ay, teacher ka pa naman. Diba? Teachers, teachers always hear that phrase. Um, 24-7, kapag Sunday, tapos na malengke sila, tapos naka-sleeveless, merong magsasabi na, ay, bakit naka-sleeveless yan? Teacher ba rin naman siya? And of course, you know the fact that women or all the fact that the fact that we all can can wear whatever we want is a different topic altogether. I support that we can wear whatever we want, but the fact is the roles that we have have a lot of strong have a lot of external influences. Dahil ikaw ay isang engineering student, dahil ikaw ay isang sociologist, and dami mga expectation ng tao sa you. Kapag ikaw ay anak, and dami mga expectation ng tao sa you. Ginawan nga siya ng kanta, de ba? Alright, so next I. Um, sinasabi ng perspective na to na who we are is a performance. Ano kaya yung performance to? Do I need to dance? Do I need to sing in order to re realize that I have a self? No, that's not the case. Um, this is a theory from Irving Goffman. He uses the metaphor of theater to to discuss who we, who we are. So, sa theater, meron kang front stage, meron kang backstage. And the yung front stage, ito yung performance natin. Ito yung back, itong backstage yung tayo nagre-relax. This is where we run to our co-actors, yung mga ganyan. And meron tayong script na fina-follow. Malakas yung connection niya dun sa earlier perspectives on the roles that we have. So we have a front stage where we perform ourselves. And we have a backstage uh, where only trusted people can see who we are. An example, private Twitter. So... Um, and not just Twitter. Marami yung mga gumagawa ng private Facebook ngayon, private Instagram. I have someone who has private Twitter, private Facebook, private Instagram. Bakit sila gumagawa ng ganitong mga private accounts? Kasi iba yung kailangan nilang i-project na self sa public profile nila. Iba yung totoong self, itong laid-back self na gusto nila, uh, para, para, na gusto nila at alam nilang sino sila. Parang ganyan. So, if you use so a lot of people use Facebook of course to connect with workmates now a lot of people use Facebook to connect with students with their co-teachers etc etc and sometimes you can't really post you know all of the things that you want on in on those Facebook uh, profiles kasi baka makikita nung ano nung boss mo baka makita nung co-teacher mo tapos kung anong isipin niya sa iyo right so you create Another private Facebook. So, ganito yun. Meron ka in-uphold na certain identity and you perform that all throughout. In all your posts, you make sure that you uphold this certain identity. Okay, and um, yung, yung private profile mo, you filter to people who can see you. Either your closest friends or your family members. Right? And sila lang yung nakakita nung totoong ginagawa mo, kung totoong sinasabi mo, totoong iniisip mo in life. Next, and in relation to um, performance and front stage, sinasabi ng perspective na to na, the self is composed of a combination of what the person knows and what other people know. Okay? Let's, um, itong image na to na nasa slide ay yung Juhari window na tinatawag natin. So, um, there is a uh, public area or an open area wherein um, the self that you know is also the self that other people know. Meron kang blind area or unknown area. Na ito yung tingin ng ibang tao sa'yo pero hindi ka aware. So marami kang mga blind spots. 
Like in our profession, um, our blind spots composed of an example is our ma mannerism. Hindi naman namin masyado talagang con. Hindi naman talaga kami conscious na ah, um, um, gumagawa kami most of the time na, right? Diba? Gumagawa kami, gumagawa kami most of the time. Minsan din hindi kami aware na masyado kami mabilis magsalita. Eh, itong masyado mabilis magsalita is something that I have struggled to to be aware of, like, all my life, in all my lectures. So, um, and then mayroon kang private hidden area. Yung ikaw lang yung nakakaalam. Para ito yung tinatawag nating backstage kanina, itong private area mo. Na hindi alam ng ibang tao. Hindi mo pinapakita sa kanila. Okay, and mayroon kang unknown area. etong hindi mo alam, hindi na, iba, hindi na alam, alam ng ibang tao. So, kaya kailangan mo ba siyang hanapin? Not necessarily. Pero ang gusto ko ipakita dito ay itong unknown area ay konektado siya doon sa unang pinag-usapan natin on finding the self, the, the true self that you have. Okay? So, magkakakonekta as we can see yung mga perspektibo ang ginagamit natin. And they can mix and match. They can be used in different situations, in different contexts to make sense of the self. Alright, the next one um, says that the self is composed of an I and a me. And this is not just in terms of grammar. Hindi ito grammar class. <laughs> ito ay isang NS lecture on understanding self and others for your NSTP module. Okay? Ang sinasabi lang dito, we have conformist and rule breaker selves. Galing ito ha. Um, and this is... is um, a perspective that we have in sociology, yung I, ito yung sinasabi natin, agentic self. Ito yung active self. Ito yung intentional self. Itong me, ito yung passive, ito yung conformist, ito yung laging umuo. Okay? And one is not ne not necessarily better than the other. Ang sinasabi dito sa perspective na to, we use both I and me in varying degrees. Okay? So, lahat tayo may I and me. Kapag ikaw, for example, is a straight is a straight honor student, you get um, one point something or one point zero in all of your subjects. You 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 go home at exactly the time that your parents tell you to do so. You sleep at exactly the time that pe uh, that other that doctors say are health. Uh, doctors say is healthy. Um, eight hours lagi yung yung sleep mo. Ganyan. You are using your me. You are conforming to what people and society say that you should do. Yeah, itong I naman is, is um, who we think about as the more creative, rule-breaker self. Diba? Nang parang um, hindi ka sumusunod-sunod sa sinasabi ng lipunan at ng ibang tao. So kapag sinabi ng lipunan na ikaw ay babae at dapat ay, uh, you, you, you shrink yourself smaller in order for men to, to, to take up space at ayaw mong gawin yon. Eh, ayoko eh. Diba? You're using your I. Okay, but again... One is not necessarily better than the other. We use both in varying degrees. An example is choosing your own degree program. A lot of people will say, piliin mo to kasi ito yung mataasing bayad, ito yung pangmatalino, ito yung gusto ng tatay mo, mga ganyan. Ito yung uh, makakabuti sa family business natin, yung mga ganyan. But deep inside you, parang gusto mong pumili ng ibang kurso. Balagi natin nakikita yan sa TV. Na gusto, nung gusto nung taong mag-fine arts, pero gusto nung mga magulang mag-business administration or gusto nung mga magulang mag-doktor. And it's always a question of who am I going to employ? Is it my I-self? Or is it my me-self? Of course, if you want to change the world, if you want to change the course of your life, you have to Make sure that you're using the I more than you're using the me if you want to change the world. Because you, you can never change the world, of course, if you if you always allow the me overpower the I. Alright. Ang sinasabi naman dito, at ito ay galing kay Charles Horton Cooley, ay the self varies depending on our relationship with other people. Meron quote dito, Who I am is who I think you think I am. So, Dalawang think lang yun, ha? Who I am is who I think you think I am. Hindi siya who I am is who you think 
I think I am. <laughs> so let's break it down. Okay. And um, I'm, you, I'm, going, I'm going to use uh, face to face, uh, uh, face to face learning uh, you know, system uh, as an example. So, kapag ikaw yung prof and, and nakikita mo yung mga estudyante mo, tumata mo, mumingit eh, or nagsasabing, ah, oo nga. Para iniisip mo, ang galing kong teacher. Diba? Ang galing kong teacher because you, I interpret itong, ah, itong, hmm, itong, ganito, ang mga estudyante, as them understanding what I'm saying. Okay? So, dalawang layers kasi to. Akala ko, magaling akong teacher kasi in-interpret ko yung, yung reaction ng mga estudyante bilang bilang uh, reaction bilang uh, like, action nila to say na magaling ako. Okay? I can be wrong in my interpretation, of course. Okay? Itong pag, pag tumawa, for example, yung isang estudyante, tas akala mo, tinatawanan niya yung joke mo, you know, that laugh can mean other things also. Tumatawa siya kasi, niisip niya, just ko, <laughs> bakit ba ako nag-enroll sa subject na to? Ha, <laughs> my God, parang ina. So, that laugh can mean other things also. Pero in-interpret mo siya as a laughter of affirmation on your end as a teacher. Okay? So again, the self that you think you are depends on how you interpret people's interaction with you. You can be wrong in your interpretation. Ito lang yung sinasabi natin. The self is maintained through capitalist activities. Now, what does this mean? Only in consumption uh, do we define ourselves. You know, when we watch different advertisements, when we attend in different love, or when we attend different love yourself lectures, lagi sinasabi, express yourself. But how do you do that? How do you express yourself? How do you show other people that, hey, ito ako as a person? There's only one thing to do that. Or there's only one way to do that. You spend. Diba? And it is in, in, in the way that we spend that we solidify ourselves. That we solidify how people will see us. A lot of people will, te- will say na, um... Pwede namang, hindi, pwede namang hindi ka gumastos ng mahal, pwede namang mag-ukay-ukay, mga ganyan. Or, and, and I advocate for that, of course. Pwede namang um, hindi ka nabubuli ng bagong damit. But the fact is, yung mga ginagamit mo at nire-reuse mo, ay bitili pa rin ng ibang tao at bibiliin mo pa din in a much lower price. Right? Um, and people can be very... And, peop, and this, in, ex, this interpretation of the self can also be extended. By way of saying na uh, our consumption is not because we need those things, but because we need to be someone. Kung iisipin mo, bakit ka bibili ng MacBook? Kung meron namang ibang mga laptop dyan na for the same specs, yung iba mas maganda pa, makakuha ka ng... Ay, ay, for the same specs, yung makukuha mo ng mas mababang presyo. Bakit ka bibili ng bagong iPhone? E eh, napakamahal niyan. At least 50k, yung kaya 50,000 yung, pe- yung dapat mong itabi para bumili ng bagong iPhone. E eh, yung ibang mga smartphones dyan, for half the price, mas maganda na yung spec. Bakit ka bibili ng Supreme na damit? E eh, kapag bumili ka dyan sa bangketa or sa pwede ka makahanap ng same comfort, cotton, ganyan, sa ukay-ukay. Kasi... Yung, yung pagdamit mo ng supreme na bago, yung pagbili mo ng ganong kamahal na damit, eh may sinasabi sa kung sino ha. Ang binibili natin, simbolo. At simbolo ito na kung sino tayo at kung ano yung kaya natin sa buhay. Diba, bakit ka bibili ng Mercedes kung pwede kang bumili ng, ng, ng Toyota, ng Kia? Kasi, at yung Mercedes yun, drive mo lang around Metro Manila na napaka-traffic, hindi ka naman pwede, hindi, hindi mo naman siya pwede. You know, I full speed, di ba? Kasi may sinasabi itong pagbili mo tungkol sa kung sino at kung ayaw mong gawin at kung ano yung kaya mong gawin bilang isang tao. And a lot of people don't realize this. Pag, pag uh, sa, sa brands, what brands do is to sell a self. Right? Just do it. Itong brand na to, sinasabi niya, ay, itong mga nagsusuot ng gantong sapatos ay mga goal getter. Just do it. And they are selling a personality. Okay? So, ganun yun. Alright. Um, next, and this is um, 
second to the, the second to the last perspective that I'm going to present, ang sinasabi ng perspective na to ay, the self is a product of hegemonic discourse. I break down natin siya kasi parang nakakatakot tong hegemonic discourse na to. Hegemonic discourse is some is a concept that we use in sociology. Ang ibig sabihin nito, um ang hegemonic powerful, ang discourse is a set of conversations. Okay? So um, and lagi natin naririnig yung discourse, no? Gender discourse, um, education discourse, yung mga ganyan. Discourse just means a set of conversations. Okay? So, self is a discourse basically because there are a lot of things that people can say about this self. Contrast it to debate. Debate meron kang dalawang side. Right? So, discourse, there are infinite sides. Napakaraming pwedeng sabihin dyan. Ang pinapresent ko dito are just 10 different perspectives um, in, of the self. Napakarami pang iba dyan. So, self is also a discourse. Gender is a discourse. And I mean, sinasabi ng mga tao tungkol sa discourse. Ito lang siya. Now, um, dominant, ca dominant categories define how people label and view themselves. Right? Isa-isahin natin to. Okay? The way that we define ourselves are always in terms of gender and class. Kasi gender and class form two of the most dominant discourses in, in, in at least Philippine culture. Diba kapag sinasabing sino ka ba? Babae ako. Lalaki ako. At yung fact ng pagiging babae mo ay nakaangkla sa kung ano ba yung meron ka sa gitna ng hita mo. Yung fact na lalaki ka ay nakaangkla dun sa kung anong meron sa gitna ng hita mo. And you are afforded different privileges because of what you have between your legs. You are afford you you are forced to undergo different struggles just because of what you have between your legs. Pero itong paglabel natin ng mga tao based on yung mga ari nila based on their quote unquote sexual organs ay product lamang ng dominant discourse. If you think about it in other ways, pwede mong isipin, hmm, uh, bakit ba natin ginag bakit ba natin ginagamit yung vagina and penis pang categorize ng tao, eh, pwede naman natin siya i-categorize using the size of their ears. Okay? Some of us, di, ito, itong tenga natin nakadikit siya dito sa panga natin, parang ganoon, or dito sa, dito, di ba, yung akin hindi, pero yung iba, nakadikit siya, pwede naman natin siyang i-categorize in terms of that. Di ba? Um, pwede mo naman natin i-organize yung society not in terms of how much you earn, right? But in terms of how much, how many people you help. Parang yan. In terms of um, any other thing. Okay? So, yung, yung, yung babae ako, lalaki ako, ay eh, parte lamang ng dominanteng diskurso. Pwede tayong maging ibang mga tao. Kung iba yung ginagamit nating categories, kung iba yung ginagamit nating terms to label, to label ourselves, we can be different people altogether. And we will know if these categories are dominant. Kasi sila yung laging tinatanong. Ito yung mga categories na laging tinatanong sa atin. If you fill out a form, when you applied for UPCAT, for example, ang daming mga kailangan i-fill up. Sex at birth, birthday, um, region, Desired degree program, and these are dominant categories. Bakit hindi tanongin ng upkat na um, desired number of steps per day? <laughs> Ganyan. Bakit, bakit hindi tanongin ng upkat na desired color of UPID? Kasi hindi niya ito ginagamit na category para i-judge ka kung karapat dapat ka bang makapasok sa UP. Right? So, what I want to say is that these dominant categories carry with them different privileges, different expectations. Okay? And these dominant categories can be, you know, otherwise. Pwede siyang maging ibang mga tao. Ito lang. Ang hirap isipin ng isang mundo na hindi natin ginagamit yung mga kategoryang ginagamit natin ngayon, na hindi natin nilalabel yung mga tao at hindi natin sila inorganized based on their age, degree program, year in college, grades, Kasi napaka-ingrained sa isip natin at napaka-dominante, napaka-powerful nitong, nitong categories na ito. Ang hirap isipin otherwise. I mean, even me, I can't... I find it difficult to imagine a self that is a world 
that is otherwise and the self of course that is otherwise but if you use your eye um too much enough um maybe you can do that maybe you can imagine a different world and really this is what a lot of activists do they imagine a different world they forward different categories to to identify ourselves and that is because they use their eye over their me in that aspect all right Ito na yung last um, perspective na represent ko. The self is seen as inherently connected to other people. Ito yung um, psikolohiyang Pilipino. Ba? Kapwa at pagkikipagkapwa. Ang kapwa at pagkikipagkapwa ay ideal form of relating with one another as fellows. Hindi mo tinitignan yung iba bilang ibang mga tao. And this is really a very Filipino. Although, different... Um, social scientists will say na Tagalog centric ito. <laughs> the, that conversation is for another day. Kaya yung sinasabi nila, ang, sa, sa, ang sinasabi natin sa Tagalog ay, ay hindi ka naman ibang tao. Diba? Friend, pasensya na makikitulog muna ako dito ha, kasi wala kami internet sa bahay, kailangan kong mag-upload. Okay lang yan friend, hindi ka naman ibang tao eh. So, at napaka-cultural dito. Hindi mo tri- yung self mo ay always siya konektado sa kung, ana, kung anong nararanasan, kung anong kondisyon ng mga tao sa paligid mo bilang isang kapwa. Right? Okay, now, as a call to action and as a way to wrap the discussion up, um, what can we do as students for nation building? The first thing is to recognize that our sense of self varies. Okay, so, dahil uh, iba yung pinanggalingan mo, uh, sa ibang konteksto ka lumaki, malamang iba yung self mo dun sa ibang mga tao. At konektado siya dito sa second bullet point. Check your privilege. Magkakaiba tayo ng pinagmulan. Right? Um, we said a while back during the first part of our discussion that only in understanding the self can you understand the society, vice versa. So you know that you, have, you are afforded these kinds of self-expression, that you can express yourself in this manner because you grew up in a middle-class family, in an educated family, in a family that lives in, 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 the, the, in the urban um, metropolis. I'm not saying that those who have, those who live in rural areas and those who are in lower socioeconomic classes have less ability to express themselves. I'm not saying that. I'm only saying that you have different, um, like, different opportunities. You have different ways on how you express yourself. Diba? Um, now, if you want to do something about that, you have to check your privilege. Isipin mo na, ay, ay nakakabili ako ng gandong mga bagay. Kasi ito yung expectation sa akin ng mga kaibigan kong mayaman. Nakabi- nakakabili ako ng mga gandong bagay because I want to fit in. Nakakabili ako ng mga gandong bagay kasi kaya ko. Kaya nung pamilya ko. Right? And next is to be intentional about your actions. Na alam mo, alam mo yung rason kung bakit mo ginagawa to, de ba? Alam mo yung rason kung bakit mo pinapost etong gantong bagay sa social media. Alam mo yung rason kung bakit ka gumagawa ng gantong account sa social media. You know, and being intentional really can do wonders. Coming from a personal experience also. And next. Uphold your scholar ng bayan identity. And these can be interpreted in many different ways. Okay, your scholar ng bayan identity depends on you. Lagi natin sinasabi, scholar para sa bayan, scholar ng bayan. But, yung scholar para sa bayan is someone that serves the Filipino people. Yung scholar ng bayan is someone that recognizes na yung tao, yung pinanggalingan ng privilege mong mag-aral sa isang top university sa mundo. Okay? And you serve people, uh, you, you, can, you can only serve people if you know what you can contribute in uplifting the conditions of the country. Diba? Kung hindi mo naiintindihan yung sarili mo, at hindi mo naiintindihan yung lipunan, paano mo yan gagawin? Paano mo sasabihin serve the people? Pa- paano mo ipra-practice? At i- i-realize yung paglilingkod sa sambayanan. Kailangan ma-, ma- kailangan alam mo muna kung sino ka, kung ano yung contribution mo sa lipunan, at kailangan alam mo mu- na hindi na mo muna yung lipunan na yun. Ganun. Next is, you maximize university resources. 
Okay? Itong university resources natin ay uh, nakakailight talaga siya ngayon nagka-pandemia. Kasi we are forced now to download journal articles. We are forced now to use UP subscriptions. Yeah. So, and, uh, dahil ang daming mga, na, na, da, marami tayong mga nagagamit na different accounts galing sa pera ng somebody. Na, and of course, you always have to think about the people who helped us get the education that we're getting right now. And, of course, give back to them. This may sound very uh, cliche, um, but ang gusto kong i-point out dito ay etong hindi mo naman to pwedeng gawin eh. Okay, cliche siya. Baka iniisip mo cliche siya, pero paulit-ulit siyang kailangan ulit, kailangan sabihin. Especially kasi we're talking about understanding self and others. And it is only in understanding yourself and um, the society that you live in that you can effectively contribute to uplifting the conditions of the country. Okay? So, Ayun lamang po, maraming salamat. If you have any questions, you can reach me at um, my email, arpresto.ub.edu.ph and I'm also active on social media. And I also, you can also contact me through ashpresto.com. So, maraming salamat at stay safe po sa lahat. Bagong